and it's a new setup and it has finally arrived and guess what time it is Gosh, up. Hello guys, how's your day? I hope you're doing fine. I am back. It is the Christmas holidays and I finally have more time to do videos as well as revision, but let's not talk about that because revision is very boring. The time has come to do the December Body Shop and Lush Haul and for some reason this is very hyped up because I haven't done one of these in that in absolutely ages. So let's get started. First I'm going to start with the Lush stuff. I haven't been to Lush for quite a while so I only have a few of their products but I believe that all of them are out for Christmas. I'm not sure if they're only out for Christmas or they're out for longer term which some I hope they are, some I'm not too bothered. Let's see what they are. So first off is a bath bomb, which I haven't yet opened and I can't remember buying this. I bought this in October, it is now December, but it, I believe it is from the sort of winter range. It's called Luxury Lush Put and this is as much as a surprise for you as it is for me. I've sort of wrecked it. <laughs> so, this is what the bath bomb looks like, and as you can see, it has got lots of polka dots of different colours in them. I'm sure that will have some effect in the bath. I have no idea what this is going to be like in the bath, but it smells quite musky, sort of very lush. Um, traditional lush scent in that it smells quite lush-like. Lush-like, that's a thing. Oh god. I literally cannot remember buying this but it looks very enticing. I might use this tonight. If you follow me on Twitter I shall update you when I use this and what it's like. But it looks very intriguing. And I can't really review it yet, apart from it looks very interesting and I can't remember buying it. Also it's got a holly on the on the top, which I'm holding the bottom, but either way. Another product which I got last time I was in Lush is a product that is very acclaimed by the Lush community. I've seen it on Cherry Wallace's channel as well as Emma Blackley channel. Um, check them out, they are amazing YouTubers, if you haven't already heard of them. And this product comes out every winter and it seems to be such a popular and high demand product. And of course that product is Snow Fairy. Now Snow Fairy has other products linked to it, including the Snow Fairy, not sure if it's called that, but um, Snow Fairy Bubble Wand, as well as the Grandmother Soap, which apparently smells just like this. Maybe the Rockstar soap as well, but I'm not sure about that. But you can clearly see that it's sort of pink or dark pink in colour. And within the gel itself, there is a lot of blue sparkles in it, which makes it perfect for Christmas, for Christmas parties, for New Year parties, or just in general for generalness. The smell of it is bubblegum. The bubblegum lip scrub is pretty much the same scent as this. Do I like the scent? People are going to hate me but I sort of really dislike the smell of bubblegum. Especially the sort of slightly more artificial smell of bubblegum from a shower gel. I don't know, there's just something about it which I dislike. But I know tons of tons of other people absolutely adore it. So if you really are into sweet sort of smelling stuff, very um, sugary smelling. Um, this is definitely a very good product. It's a very moisturising product, it is amazing, it's got sparkles in it, it's got the typical lush sparkle and glitter and lovely smelling stuff to some. Um, 
so yeah, I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant to have something like this, which a lot of people like. This, unfortunately, I personally don't. So, next up is a soap from Blush, and it is my favourite item that I got out of Blush recently. It is also part, I believe, of the Wind Range, considering what its name. Now, I've used quite a lot of this, so it doesn't look in the best condition, but this soap is called Baked Alaska, and I've used it non-stop since I've got it. It has sort of a light blue um, covering on it, but it's also quite soapy, but it doesn't really foam. And then it's got this absolutely lovely multicoloured inside. <laughs> the smell! The smell is like heaven. If you like citrus fruit, then the Bait Alaska soap is definitely for you. This smells like lemon. Really, really strong lemon. And the woman at the shop said it's supposed to be grapefruit, but it's lemon. Or it's just citrus. It's pure citrus. It's got a bit of slightly bitter tang to it, maybe sort of lime. But it's mainly um, lemon, which is amazing. It foams quite well, it doesn't foam overly much, it foams just enough. And overall, it's just such a nice soap. I think it's from one of the, my favourite soaps from Lush, in that it smells amazing. It just smells so fresh, it makes you feel fresh, and it looks fresh, it looks colourful, it's bright, and in winter that's always just a positive thing. And it, it's just a really good product. If you like items such as Happy Hippie, um, that sort of sharp grapefruit, you should really like this. Because I really do, and it is my new favourite. Ah, Baked Alaska. Amazing. So the last Lush project that I bought on my last trip there was another lip scrub, which is called Santa's Lip Scrub. <laughs> Prepare your lips for for Santa, baby. That that line though, and basically it's the same as the other lip scrubs in that it's sort of sugar with sort of the colour and the scent. This one smells like it smells of like Coca Cola, sort of like that Coca Cola bottle sort of scent to it, and they've added something to this. Which I believe isn't, or wasn't, a good move. They added, I'll show you. They've added these larger pieces to the scrub. And what they are, is it's supposed to be love hearts. But clearly, some of them don't look like love hearts. Some do, like that one. But others like this um, don't at all, um, which when I first got this I thought, are oh, they even edible? Um, they are edible, but um, they're not, they're, they're more of an annoyance to me. I'd rather they just not be there at all or whatsoever, but they are. and. The smell of the product and the feel of the product and the, the general of all the lip scrubs from Blush are pretty good products. But just, I think, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it love heart, they're trying to make it a lot more nicer for Christmas. But I feel like they've, it's not clear enough that they love hearts. And to be honest, the larger bits get like stuck on your lips and you don't really want to be walking around with just random large red blocks on your lips. Maybe you do, which is cool, but personally I don't and I think this sort of lets down the product a bit. So, commence the huge task of the body shop. Here we go! So, my mum got me an early Christmas present and she knows I absolutely adore body shop and in particular I adore the new Christmas scents that have been brought out specifically for Christmas time. 
And one of these amazing scents is the apple scent. Now the apple has two gift sets. One of them is in sort of a large apple shaped sort of a container which has a lot of mini items in it. My mum got me the limited edition book gift set almost. And when you open it up, you can see the products involved. So in this you get a lip balm, a soap, a shower gel and a mini body butter of the apple. Now the apple scent is literally amazing. I will talk about it later on because I have a lot more other products. But as usual, the body butters are very moisturizing. The apple one feels a little bit more drier than, you, than normal body butters, but I think it's just purely because apple and the scent and it's just amazing. The lip balms from Body Shop are always amazing and I haven't opened this yet. I refuse to open it until <laughs> I have used everything else up so I keep it sealed. But very moisturising. In general the lip balms are in the Body Shop and you can rely on the products being amazing. So that was one of the gift sets. Before I got the gift set I also got the huge apple shower gel. I believe this was £4 like all the other shower gels are so the price was pretty much the same I believe and it is a gorgeous emerald green colour if you can see that with the light. It suddenly got dark because winter so it's apologising for that. So gorgeous colour but it's the smell of the apple that really makes it worthwhile. The apple is so full of sort of the fruit and the flavour and it's quite sharp but in a good way, not a bad way. It's not going to insult your senses, it's going to caress them and get into all the lovely smelly places. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about but oh, it's gorgeous. The shower gel is like every um, other shower gel. It forms very well, it's very nice, makes you feel really clean and the scent of this one makes you feel really clean as well because the apple, it lingers. If you need a last minute Christmas present or want to get your girlfriend or your sister or your mum something in the Boxing Day sales, definitely attack the apple in body shop because you will not regret it and it is amazing. <laughs> the next item is the apple soap from the body shop and this smells just like the apple scent pretty much apart from a bit more soapy as you would expect but it's a, once again this gorgeous green colour £2.50 for the special soaps um, and it's so worth it. I love this so much and I think the soaps are extremely underrated. Um, this one smells a little bit more spicier than the actual initial smell you get from the shower gel or anything else including the hand cream as well. It smells very Christmassy. It's got an essence of that sort of spice scent which just makes this amazing. It's such a good uh, stocking filler and I'd really recommend this if you are buying last minute for someone or just for someone in new year then definitely buy this because not only does it not break the bank but it smells absolutely gorgeous. Another limited edition scent just for Christmas time in the body shop is the frosted cranberry scent and at first I did not like the scent when I first got into the shop I was like eh it's alright. But I completely changed my mind on that. I adore it now. And this is the large shower gel version of it. And it's a sort of nice dark pink colour if you put it up to the light properly. It smells a little bit more warmer than the apple. It smells a little more musky, almost a bit like mulled wine sort of essence to it. And it smells really fresh. It makes you feel quite Christmassy and it's nice when you sort of in sort of 
it's nice when you're in sort of the winter feeling and it smells really effective. Once again, it's a shower gel. Body Shop shower gels are amazing. This smells amazing. Just buy, just buy them all. Just buy them. <laughs> so definitely worth going for. Or even just going to the shop, having the smell, making a decision up. I really enjoy it. The next Frosted Cranberry item I have from the Body Shop is the hand cream version of it. Now I have the hand cream version also of the apple and people pick up on the smell around you and they literally are like, that smells gorgeous. I had a compliment on the apple one which was very easy to smell from afar and people just love it. They ask what it is and you say, oh it's body shop and oh, it's, it's amazing. This is literally just the same. Now the Body Shop have released a lot of their scents now in hand creams, um, not just the um, sort of more herby ones, uh, such as I believe there was one for Rose initially, but now they've made most of their scents into hand creams. Now the cranberry just smells a lot more fruitier. It smells a lot of a lot more of red berries and raspberry and obviously the cranberry comes in full blow but doesn't once again insult the senses. It's quite subtle but the smell is clearly there and is clearly smelt but it's very gentle, it's very nice but it's strong if that makes sense. These are just a great stocking filler I think. I, th I would be happy with just getting a bunch of these, especially in winter where your hands are obviously a bit drier, they're getting a bit cracked. This helps a lot and it smells absolutely gorgeous, plus it doesn't break the bank. So this item, especially the special scents now out, as well as the fruit um, versions of them such as the grapefruit one are amazing. So next up is the Frosted Cranberry Soap. Now this soap I was expecting to smell just like a hand cream initially but it doesn't smell at all like the scent that the hand cream does initially. I haven't tried this out in the shower or the bath yet so I don't know if the smell um, does match the hand cream and the shower gel. This smells a little bit more sort of soapy and plastic, a bit plasticky. It could just be the wrap ring, of course. But I'm not sure about if the scent transfers onto the soap just as well. But overall, I love the colour. I love the sort of burgundy red colour. I'm not sure if you can see the full redness of it um, with the darkness outside and the light. But you can still get the sort of berryness from it, but it's overcast by something else, which I'm not sure about. So go to the shop and have a look and have a smell for yourself. There should be um, some out of the packet for people to smell. So make your own decision up. And the last of the limited edition Christmas items I have today is the vanilla soap. Now when I thought of vanilla soap I thought this might be very bad and I wasn't really expecting there to be these black flecks in it that vanilla generally has. My mum has the hand cream of the vanilla and the name for this is the vanilla brulee, the creme brulee, uh, vanilla brulee. And to be fair, it smells, initially I thought it smelled like coconut, but now it definitely smells like white chocolate. It smells quite a lot like that. Mella does a vanilla low fat yogurt and it smells a bit like that if you've had it. Um, it also looks a bit like that too, so <laughs> yeah. I'm quite excited to try this out because I think it's going to be a lot more creamier um, than the fruit ones and I'm just really looking forward to how it's going to turn out. So that was the Lush and Body Shop haul. I'm sorry I'm ending it quite abruptly but my 
phone camera was having a hissy fit and decided not to work anymore. But that was the products that I basically wanted to show. Um, also, uploading it later because of technical difficulties, which is a pain. But it's Christmas Day and I've got a hell of a lot more Lush stuff. So guess what you are seeing soon. It's going to be a full Lush haul, only Lush, um, coming up probably in the new year sometime. And I hope you guys like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a new camera. So there might be a better quality video coming up soon. So that's all to look forward to. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you're doing fine. Happy Christmas or happy holidays. And um, hope you get everything you like. And thanks for watching. And sorry about this ending. Okay, goodbye.